Uh, May 20th, 2024. We are on top of the world in Lakeside, California. This soon will be disappearing. The new, um, what do you call this? Penthouse. Penthouse will be here. And we have a special great historian that's been here from since the 70s. So we'll get your name and you can kind of just go with uh, the history here. And you're showing me all the demo work and I'll be here tomorrow watching it, hopefully. Okay. Name is Sam Walker. I'm uh, local in the area. Taught at El Capitan High School from 1984 to 2009 in the high school agricultural department. Uh, this rodeo was actually big back in the 1920s and the 1930s up into the 40s and the 50s. Uh, my aunt, Evelyn, we had a dairy over in Santee called Walker Dairy. My Aunt Evelyn, her senior year of Grossmont High School in 1939, was the Lakeside Rodeo Queen. But back in those days, the rodeo was over by the uh, Lindell Lake, by the uh, lake over there. And uh, over the years, we got through the war years, we took a break from rodeo. In uh, 1964, El Capitan High School did not have a football field with lights. so. They decided to form a parents group that was called the El Capitan Stadium Association. And they were going to put in the bleachers and they were going to put in the lights and they're going to be responsible for building that football stadium. Well, 1964, a gentleman named Ben Bruton, who was an old cowboy, he came in and he says, let's bring back rodeo. So the first year in 64, they went over on Channel Road and they set up makeshift pens, makeshift bleachers, sold tickets off a picnic table. And that was when the Stadium Association rodeo came back. In 1968 to 69, a lady named Marion Carlson here in Lakeside owned this ground, this eight acres. And she basically had deeded this piece of ground to the El Capitan Stadium Association with the provision that any monies that came in off of this rodeo had to go to the youth of Lakeside. That was one of the covenants in there. So by 1968, they had started building this facility. They brought in bleachers. The last bleacher just behind us the last one went in in 1983. In 1970s, I would guess somewhere around the early 1970s, these old cowboys, they built this penthouse here. And uh, they just put put it up and it had uh, eight store, it had eight windows on it so you could come up here and this was kind of the prestigious area of the rodeo. And we knew that this was our last project. We started with the renovation on Snack Bar 4. We put up the marquee. We put in bathrooms. We put in a ticket booth. Uh, we acquired additional property. But this is our very last project to do here. We have renamed this. It's no longer the pen penthouse. It will be called the Cattleman's Lounge. Yeah, I like that. And <laughs> basically, uh, yeah. DK Naslin from Naslin Engineering and Mike Madelon, who was the architect on that, and uh, our structural engineer, they all came back on the project. We pulled the plans back out of the county, and we were able to finalize the plans. The permits are pulled. The demo permits are pulled. Uh, we are going to start demo tomorrow. Got a big excavator coming in and he will crush this down and it'll be Iron Horse. It's the Melville family. They're local. They're going to drop this. Uh, Dan Wilson's going to come in, another local. He's got students at El Capitan High School and he's going to take out all of the concrete and all of the steel. So we're hoping by the end of the week, first part of next week, that we'll have this all dug out. We've got to go down five feet. We have to recompact. And once we do that, then Southwest is going to be the general contractor on this. And it's the Smith brothers. And they went to El Capitan High School. Oh, wow. So I believe everybody who's going to work on this project 
is Lakeside People. That is wonderful. And that's how we're doing it. Wow. A lot of donations are coming in. It is an expensive project. The contract went out at two million dollars. Includes an elevator. Oh. Which was expensive. Those elevators are not cheap. And uh, everything's ADA compliance. But it's a large structure. We expect to hold on the second floor about 120 people, on the third floor about 100 people. And uh, we've got bleachers in on the second floor that they can sit in. And then we've got primarily uh, informal cocktail tables up on the third floor. We are gonna put closed circuit TV in there oh, wow. so they can actually en enjoy the atmosphere and they can basically watch the rodeo in the process. And that's where we're at. So um, about, um, oh, oh, I was gonna ask you, who, who exactly owns this? The, the it is owned the by the El Capitan Stadium Association. Okay, who supports the kids. Who supports the kids. Right. And I imagine it will go on forever. Because that's, that's we have been able to pull in a lot of younger people. We have a very young crowd coming in. You know, everything social media this, th these course, days, and right. that's not me. Yeah. I mean, I'm a dinosaur. I have a hard time even on a computer. <laughs> but all these kids come in and all this social media. Yeah. When you look at this past rodeo, we did Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Right. We sold out. Friday night and Saturday night. We were 90% on Thursday night. We were 90% yeah. on Saturday night. And that was here Sunday. Yeah. And that is huge. That is huge. huge. I saw it much bigger than last and year. And a lot of that goes back to KUSI. Because KUSI, they were bought out and they also carry yes. Fox 5. Yes. And between the two of them, they were mm -hmm. able to put out the information. And that's where the crowd came from. Yeah. KUSI was highly responsible for that. Right. And what what kind of what message do you have for our community? And also, if someone wants to get involved with um, the uh, uh, Capitan Association or other areas that they might want to volunteer, or just heads up. How would they contact, or where would they go, or the web page? Uh, how would they contact if we, they needed more we information? Have a, we have a website under Lakeside Rodeo. It's pretty informative in there. And we meet the first and third Wednesdays of every month, except we miss one in May, we miss one in November, and we miss one in December. Otherwise, seven o'clock is when they start. Just show up, you can sign in, and they can uh, become a member. And, and is that the association, that's a Facebook page, right? Yes. Oh, okay, no, they can go to Facebook. an actual website. They can go Facebook oh, too. Oh, we do actual. both, website and Facebook. Oh, okay. Okay, well, listen, uh, I want to thank you for your time. This is really exciting. Uh, there's a few people, a few more people here. Uh, this is incredible, especially getting a, uh, a sort of an eagle's eye uh, view of this and the demo. And uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and uh, um, sending the drone up and watching history and then the... Uh, the rising of the steel of the new place eventually when everything's safe. Thank you so much, sir. Okay.